There's like six fabricators here. I don't know how that happened. Um, SEMA's in less than 48 hours. It's starting Tuesday. What's today? Banks built, protected by Amsoil. With support from Roadster Shop and Nitto. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, the 28th. Three days before Lockjaw leaves. We are currently loading up some tools and the tubs. Let's go throw these in the truck. <laughs> Double check we got everything and get on the road. Hi, sir. Oh. <laughs> It's like, it's Whoa, got, what the hell? No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> micro machine. I didn't know. They, 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 oh, yeah. See, see all the, the machine lines in there? Like, yeah. Very, like, this whole, this whole, this right is here. the tensioner, right? So this is going to. Well, the hook comes down like this. This is going to clock right down. now. This is going to clock down to like. Bolting the air ride suspension solenoid pack on. This is the nitrous uh, bracket, and we're fitting it to the uh, soft number, I guess you'd say. Cutting off the factory brackets for the uh, factory seat. Obviously, we don't need them anymore with the new seats that we got. Engine is in the chassis right now. We hooked it up to the Allison. We've got our slip yoke from ATS, custom slip yoke. To put the engine in, we had the supercharger off so we could have our lift points. We're about to put it in the vehicle right now. Final installation. So right now, time to head over to the truck with the supercharger. Supercharger's installed. Uh, we've got some uh, tune-up work to get it dialed in to, to get the, the belt plane to line up perfectly. And we've got a procedure we've got to follow. We bring the charge air cooler back so that the face seals uh, seal off the charge air cooler inside the manifold. Then we're gonna kind of snug down the lid, make sure the belt plane's all dialed in, and then tighten this thing down and put in the rest of the fittings for our charge air cooler system. So, back to it. So currently right now, uh, I'm welding up all of the lower bed structures that you saw previously a couple videos back. Uh, we just had them tacked until then, and now it's time to do the final welding of that. And just knocking that out right now. Uh, we're a little uh, constrained on time right now, so we're currently just gonna be doing all the top stuff and we can come back and stitch weld the bottom stuff. It should be plenty strong enough. Uh, these are probably overbuilt, if I was to be completely honest. So. We're doing all the tops of the tabs that we're poking through, and then all of the open corners, like these ones here and these ones up top. All those bad boys are getting welded out. This one's in the fabrication area, which is usually a one to two man department. Um, so I am desperately trying to keep it somewhat clean and find some tools so that I can continue to do my job and not lose my mind. <laughs> All right, everyone's hard at work here. Uh, we are 
in the, in the crunch right now, we've got the engine in, we've got our transmission in, and that's what I want to talk about right now is this Allison transmission, uh, our Allison 1000 six-speed. And this is very custom, and here is why. That is a slip yoke in an Allison 1000 transmission. They do not come that way. They are all fixed yoke. But for Lockjaw, we wanted to run a very special drive shaft. We wanted to run a carbon fiber QA1 drive shaft. And that drive shaft doesn't come, you can't get it with a slip in it. So no slip in the drive shaft, no slip in the transmission. What do you do? Then you can't have suspension. So we reached out to Clint at ATS who built us our badass Allison 1000 and said, how do we solve this problem? And this is what he came up with. A uh, very custom setup. Uh, it uses a two wheel drive tail shaft housing from an Allison. And he built this custom setup to put a, a slip yoke in here so that we have slip in our drive line. So he, he spent a bunch of time on this thing. Uh, it's got a 300M uh, tail shaft in it. Uh, super custom, super badass all so that we can run our QA1 carbon fiber drive shaft. Jay, can you, uh, can you bring that piece of artwork in here? Take a look at that thing. That is phenomenal. Wow, 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 wow. We've got uh, 1350 answer. Yeah, so QA1, I'm gonna read off of what they just sent us here. Banks Power Drive Shaft, there it is. Uh, custom drive shaft for us. So this is their Rev Series carbon fiber drive shaft. Uh, 1350 U-joints on either end. Uh, this one is 64 inches to fit our setup here. Um, it's got a 3M uh, matrix resin in it, uh, in this carbon fiber. Holy cow, this is nuts, man. This thing is nuts. It takes, this will hold up. This is, this is 3.2 inches in diameter compared to like a five inch drive shaft that you get in a GM factory uh, truck or, you know, a Duramax from GM, five inch drive shaft. This is 3.2 and will hold up to 2000 horsepower crazy piece. Thank you, QA1, our friends out in Minnesota. Thank you, Clint uh, at ATS. Everywhere you look on this truck, cool custom stuff. We got a lot more to do to get this truck to SEMA when the doors open on Tuesday. So back to work. ASMR trucking. Uh, our. Your hands up a well, I'm trying to remember if I did or not. Uh -oh. yeah. What are we doing here? Check ins? Yeah. yeah. Check ins. I've gotten 10 hours of sleep in the past mm, four or five days. I consume enough caffeine to kill a small man. Um, there's like six fabricators here. I don't know how that happened. Um, SEMA's in less than 48 hours. It's starting Tuesday. What's today? Saturday? Today's Saturday. Yeah. I'm trying to compose myself and get back to work. But also trying not to collapse. Because I'm going to be here all night. Okay. I'm going to finish eating. I'm currently working on the lower bed structures. Uh, the other day we welded the middle two. However, yesterday I started welding up the four wings. So currently working on the very last one, getting this thing welded up. Once we do that, the whole bed can be finally assembled, assembled and then get started on making it all work. Got tired? Very tired. This is, uh, this is the, uh, seems like it's gonna be an all-nighter, so. Got the SEMA Essentials Monster, some form of sugar, and some water, and I'm ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> and that. <laughs> we got this. We're gonna make it. It's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna do it. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Doug from the uh, electrical engineering department at Banks Power. It's all hands on deck right now, and I'm working in the marketing department. I mean, this isn't my normal. So, so far with the SEMA crunch, it's not too bad. I mean, I think tonight's gonna be an all-nighter. It's gonna be a long one for us here. Uh, but everybody's working hard right now. We're making good progress. Uh, I'm helping the team out by uh, getting a lot of the rust off of some of the steel pieces for the hood, uh, the hood support that Eric made. Starting from the battery fuse up here, we're gonna go into the cab. Come back down out of the cab, up forward. That starter alternator, we got a bunch of stuff under the, under the cab. Transmission controller. Uh, but everybody's working hard right now. We're making good progress. I think by the, uh, I mean, it's gonna get done today. Airbag controller solenoid pack. We have a, the PCS transmission actuator that we're wiring up. Well, and by today, I mean tomorrow morning-ish. Uh, but probably within the next hour, the cab will be going back on the truck. Once the cab's back on, then we wire everything up inside the cab. We've got the, we've got the guys working inside here, Ron and, and Robert. The MoTeC ECM and power distribution module inside the glove box area. We've got stuff going on inside along the transmission tunnel for all the, all the various things coming up under the floor. So, you know, we got the throttle pedal, we got the brake pedal switch, safety switch, battery safety cutoff. Stay tuned. Then over here we've got Michael working on a shock tower and we've got Curtis on the uh, Ride Tech suspension right here. Curtis, how many times have you dealt with uh, air ride suspension? Once. <laughs> this time, <laughs> once. <laughs> but you know what, these guys are skilled mechanics, they can figure it out. It's an organized rat's nest. Monday night in Las Vegas. We just dropped off Lockjaw at the Amsoil booth. Tomorrow is the SEMA show. Hopefully some of us can get some shut-eye.